going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back out at Santa Luz. Uh, it's me and Mike and uh, Brian, Mike's brother, who you guys have probably seen in some of the Tory videos. But uh, we're out here, gonna have a little bit of fun today. Another beautiful day in San Diego. And this guy actually just had a hole in one, so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I was playing a little match with actually Paris and two of the kids on my golf team. And we were out at Stone Ridge and uh, we were on hole number seven out at Stone Ridge. It was a little uh, par three, about 143 yards, and I just knocked down a little nine iron. <laughs> and uh, it literally landed right behind the cup, bounced up, and then it disappeared. And we went nuts and gave high fives to everybody. And it was just, you know, it was a fun moment. And it was cool that Paris was there and a couple of my kids. And um, it was just a lot of fun. It was a good day. Nice. Using the Callaway ball too, right? Yeah, out there? yeah the Chrome yeah. Soft. So that was uh, the Callaway first hole in one <laughs> for the, uh, yeah. the Chrome Soft. And uh, yeah, I love that golf ball. And it's just working out great for me. And, uh, really glad that Callaway uh, jumped on with us. It's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, we'll have to go you. get a drink afterwards, maybe celebrate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. You know? That was my second one ever, so yeah. um, it feels good. I'm still kind of running <laughs> a little high from it, and uh, yeah, it's feeling good today. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, numbers have been growing. We're super stoked on like how things have been going with this channel. And uh, yeah, so we want to just say a big thank you to everyone that's uh, jumped on the bandwagon, that's supporting us, helping us out. We set up a patron page, so if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's basically a way for you to support us. You can basically make an ongoing donation to the channel, to us, to help us grow it. Um, and we're going to reinvest all that money, as you guys probably already know. It's going to go towards giveaways and just making the channel bigger and better for, for everyone. So check it out. The link's going to be down below. And uh, let's get this party started. All right, let's do this. So uh, what kind of game are we going to be playing today? Let's do a little dot today. Okay, let's okay. do it. Cool. Um, should dollar we go over a dot? dot? Yeah, yeah. Five dollars a dot. Five dollars a dot. <laughs> Five bucks a dot. Let's do it. And should we go over dots one more time? Let's do it. All right, there's a few ways that you can get a dot. Um, on the par five, closest to in three, which is called a gorilla, is a dot. Um, birdies are a dot. Eagles are a dot. Uh, closest to the pin on the par threes is a dot. Uh, a sandy up and down out of a bunker for a par is a dot. Um, and then there's also a bin Laden, which is a uh, fairway bunker to greenside bunker, make the putt uh, for a par, and that's another dot. Outside the uh, pin is called a pulley, if you make a putt, uh, that's another dot. And then also a uh, inside the stick, which is called a sticky, which is another dot, and those are all the dots. All right guys, so starting off here, we have a par five. It's like 560 yards or somewhere around there, but as you can see, it's pretty wide open fairway down there. A couple bunkers on the right and the left. The ones on the left are pretty tough to reach, but the ones on the right are definitely in play, but something left center of this fairway and you'll hit the power the power slot and should kick forward and uh, leave you with about 280 in. out of the car boys Brian, you, want to power. you want to say what's up to the people yeah how you guys doing uh, wow thank you for the invite this is gonna be a perfect day out right now it's about 70 degrees the fog is just burning off and your course looks so green right now which is kind of rare because uh, everybody's overseeding punching sanding so this is gonna be a treat today I'm looking forward to it hope you guys enjoy it and check out the shirt a little Medina action yeah, gotta do a little Medina guys repping always all right, I got uh, over 300 yards, so I'm just gonna lay up here. I'm gonna hit a little five iron down there. Pulled it a little bit to the right, but it should be okay. All right, I got about 300 also. I'm just gonna lay up with a little five iron, knock it down, uh, play it a little bit left, because the water's on the right, and uh, hopefully just have about 100 yards going into the green. Started it down the left-hand side, and it's pretty straight, actually. Maybe a tiny little bit of a draw, but that's a perfect layup. Good shot. Thank you. Nice drive, B. Thanks, boss. You know, not too bad. Uh, I know you guys are gonna try to David Toms it over there, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to give you the old Phil Mickelson from 274. See if this can get on the green. Get that gorilla dot right now. Yeah. <laughs> Started right at it with ah, a little bit of a draw. Good. Headed for the bunker on the left. Just, okay, just a tiny bit short of the bunker, but. Morning track power. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good leaf. All right, left myself with about 149 yards left. I'm gonna just hit a nice smooth nine iron and just go for, I'm gonna go for the middle of the green here and not get too cute with it and just uh, see if I can get up there and make a, you know, easy par on the first hole here. Started up to the left with a little draw going right at the pin. 
Looks like he's got about 15, 20 feet. Good shot. All right, I got 101 yards. Um, I'm gonna hit a hard 60 degree. I think everything's gonna kind of run out a little bit, so I'm gonna try and land it about 97 and let it run out a couple yards. Started right at it, and it's just drew, drew a little bit, but he looks like he's pin high, maybe four feet. Great shot. All right, looks like uh, B went a little bit long on his uh, third shot. Marco is right here on the left. He's got about 15 feet, and I think that's me right there. Yep, that's me. Looks like I got a little sticky, <laughs> sticky and a gorilla, a little double dot. And B's a little, a little long right there. All right, we're on hole two. It's a par four, 442 yards. It's a split fairway, um, but for us normal hitters, we have to go to the right a little bit. And uh, there's a lot of uh, trash along the right-hand side, and then there's kind of a ravine and a bunch of bunkers in the middle. So a good drive here is super important. I got 193, I just uh, kind of pushed my driver again into the bunker, but I'm gonna just hit a five iron. Um, pin's in the back left, so I'm just going from middle of the green here and just gonna get something up there around the green. Should be good. It's right at it. I think he's just on the front side of the green. All right, I got 183 yards. Ball's a little bit below my feet, so I'm gonna hit a six iron. I'm gonna choke up about a half inch, and I'm just gonna try and stay down on it and play a little bit of a draw going in. Started at the flag, but a big draw, and it's headed for the bunker on the left. And, ooh, it kicked left and around, and then back and on in. Started left of the green, and it's cutting back. A little bit long and a little yeah, bit low. Yeah, way long, huh? Yeah, it's up on that hill. All right, so right in front of us, this is Brian. He went a little bit long with his approach shot there, but he was actually, it looked long, but actually, actually it's pin high. So it's gonna be a little bit delicate of a shot coming down. It's kind of feeding away from him, but he's got this. Coach is in here, greenside bunker. Uh, good lie in there. Should be able to get that up and down. And then I was up uh, over there on the front of the green. So I'm gonna have like a 80 footer coming up, so that'll be fun. So he can earn himself a Sandy here if he gets up and down. So he's already two up on us on the dots. Look at that shot. Pretty good. That is pretty good. He's got about six feet left. Look at that touch. Right. Nice touch, dude. Here it comes. Come on, go, 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 go. Not bad. Oh, good try. Boom, oh, oh, a little sandy. All right, we're on hole number three. This is an awesome hole. Um, it's 385 yards. You've got hazard to the right and bunkers also. Um, but the fairway does open up a little bit to the left and um, we're just gonna hit a little bunt driver or, uh, or a good three wood on this one. That three would perfect down the middle. You gotta activate Fine. them glutes. What do you got left here, B? I got 117 to a sneaky little front pin, and the play is really to kind of take it over the pin and kind of suck it back. I'm kind of in between clubs right now, so we'll see what happens with this one. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to go long and bring it back. That's the right play. Started at middle of the green with a nice buttery cut. This looks really good. Oh uh, yeah, a little long, a little little suck back, and uh, there you go. That's how it's done. <laughs> so coach and I both hit one pretty close to each other. You want to do a little close to two for ten bucks? Yeah, let's do it. What do you got left? <laughs> I got one sixteen 
A little bit into the wind, I'm gonna hit an approach wedge and uh, a little bit long and left will be okay on this one. Started out the pin with a little buttery draw. Decided middle of the green. Just a little bit past Brian's ball, but he'll have a downhill putt, so about 20 feet. I got 107, I'm gonna hit a, a 56 degree sand wedge and I'm gonna just go right at this flag. No one's in there tight and I need to get some dots, so. <laughs> it's going for the sticky. All right, just on front. Oh, and it rolls out to perfection. It's caught probably about 10 feet and he won the $10. Nice job. So Brian got a new putter here. He's gonna show us this bad boy. Yeah, I just got, daddy got a new gift for himself here. I was feeling uh, like it was about time. Uh, been kind of cold with my other putter. So saw this, went to the shop, hit it. And I said, yep, that's what I want. Got it about 45 minutes ago and I've hit a couple putts and super glad I got it. What model uh, is it? Yeah, it's a Scotty Fortura 5W um, with 15s in it. It's the 34 inch. It's got all the specs on it right there. It's got the specs on there and check out this grip. I mean, a little whitey. Yeah, that grip just is keeping it just real perfection. clean. But yeah, amazing feel like every other one that he makes. But just uh, going with just kind of a square face this time. My uh, my new port's got kind of open closed. So I think I was getting cold with that. I'm gonna try something new and hopefully make a few. Here's where I hit it too. I got maybe like an eight footer, uh, pretty straight putt. So hopefully I can make that. Brian's got about a 20 footer down the hill and co coaches maybe another 10 feet. Hole four here, 445 yards. This one goes uphill and there's one big bunker on the left that's definitely in play. You can see that bunker right there. Uh, we fit it in there a lot of times. So the play here is just kind of right center of this fairway. And uh, the approach shot is pretty tough because there's another massive bunker that's green side up there on the right. So we want to just leave yourself right center of the fairway and uh, should, should be a good angle. Nice. All right, guys, I got 192 yards left with slope, so I'm gonna hit a little five iron here. The pin's on the left, so this is actually a pretty good angle over here. So I'm gonna go uh, just a little bit right of the pin and play my fade and see if I can get in there pretty close. I hit it right at it with a little draw. It's gonna be on the left part, left middle of the green. Should be pretty good. Good shot, good swing. Uh, we got 175, a little up the hill, a little into the wind. I'm gonna hit a hard seven iron, and uh, I'm gonna swoop it in because the pin's on the left be a little aggressive on this one. Started at right side of the green and it's drawn back pretty nicely. Looks like it landed in the middle of the green and it's probably kicked left towards the hole. Should be a good shot. Oh, he pure that out of there. This looks pretty good. Headed just a little bit left. All right, we got two balls long back here. Not sure who they are yet. And then there's one ball that's right in the middle of the green. Uh, pretty much like a 25 footer right there. So, so Mike's back there, he's got a slightly a slight down slope and uh, there's this massive ridge right here that comes into play and then we have the pin right there so it's a pretty touchy little shot. Tough one. Come free, Mikey. <laughs> oh, beast key to just clean up his par. With the new putter, looks good. Beautiful part three here, 163 yards playing a little bit downhill as you guys can see. And we got a couple of bunkers in front, but those shouldn't come in play. Uh, that pin's tucked in the back. So something in the middle of the green here is perfect. Going long here is absolutely death. So it's really hard up and down, especially with that pin location. So we're gonna all probably just try to go for middle of the green and uh, see if we can make a putt. 
So uh, it's 164, playing probably about 157, but there's some wind into us. So I'm guessing it's gonna play about the exact yardage. I'm gonna knock down a nine, try and play a little right to left and uh, let it just run to the back of the pin. Started at the flag, but hard draw going left. Uh, it's gonna miss the green to the left and a little bit short. Looks Either all nine. over it. Short. Okay, right below the pin, probably about 25, 30 feet. Good shot. Right next to Marco. All right, so this is where Mike ended up, just a little bit short here. He's got a lot of green to work with though. You guys can see where that pin is, a little bit of a ridge right there, he's gotta go up. And then uh, it's pretty flat up here. Got about seven, eight feet left. Alright guys, par 4 here, 364 yards. It's a short hole, so you really don't need to hit driver here. If you do, you kind of go into this little valley and you got kind of a tweener yardage. And there's bunkers on both sides, as you can see. Uh, just like a 3-wood or a hybrid is perfect right here. A little bit into the wind, but uh, overall pretty easy hole. All right, I got 132, a little bit into the wind. I'm gonna just hit a nine iron and go for middle of the screen. Hopefully suck it back a little bit. It all kind of slants back to front here. So the pin's in the front with a little bit of tear in the back that will feed back towards the hole if you can spin it. Started it at the pin with a little bit of a draw. Distance control looks good. And it is. Niner. Great shot. Down nine. It's probably got about 12 feet just to the right of the pin. All right, I got 101. I'm definitely in between clubs because the wind is pushing at probably about five or six miles an hour. And uh, it's probably playing 106 and I can't quite get a 60 degree there. So I'm gonna try and chip you a little approach wedge and uh, I'll probably end up a little bit long. So you guys can see the pin and where he's going. And obviously you just said he's gonna go a little bit long, but that's a good tip for you guys at home. There's a bunker in front. So if you're ever in between clubs like that, Favor on the one that's gonna, you know, avoid the hazard and the trouble. I just changed my mind. The wind just died. I'm gonna muscle up a 60 and hopefully get it close now. Started a little bit right of the flag and it's coming back quite nicely. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, he put a little spin on it. Yeah, it should be about six feet. You might be inside the flag stick. Great shot, coach. Thank you. All right, Mike hit a great shot in there. You guys saw it from back there, but uh, yeah, he's, we're gonna have to measure this. Looks like it's pretty close. Might be inside the flag stick but he's got like a six, seven footer. And then I'm just up the hill, maybe a 15 footer. And then Brian was uh, a little bit short here. He's got about a 25, 30 footer coming up the hill. Yeah, yeah just outside. Nice birdie, coach. Thanks. I got a pulley and a birdie, and that's the old double dot. It's gonna be an expensive day for me. New Scotty, yep. round at Santa Luz, paying out dots. $5 a dot, too. He's Louise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed part one. Make sure you guys check the links down below. Uh, we're doing some giveaways. Um, also, we set up a Patreon page if you guys wanna help support us, donate some money to, to, the, to the channel, and uh, help us you know, uh, sponsor some of the giveaways. All right, guys, thanks for watching part one. Come back tomorrow and check out part two. Mike's on a little birdie roll and he's got a lot of dots, so we're gonna see if uh, Brian and I can make a little comeback. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.